On top of the refrigerator, there are two red cups. Out in the garage, are some bins with food in them. The bin that has a D on it, or it'll say dog, is the dog food. One cup, I fill all the way up. One cup, I go about three quarters. Everybody has their special place to eat. Iris, the basset hound, eats right here in the kitchen. And she gets the full cup. The wee little chihuahua eats in my office. And we just kind of fill the bottom of her bowl up like so. Just so it covers. The cat does not get any of that. Get back, cat. The Shih Tzu gets fed out on the patio. See if he's following me out here. And his bowl is right here. He gets the rest of that cup. Iris, your food's in here, come on. Let's go. Sometimes you have to let her know that she's being fed because she's old and senile. Now the cat food is right here on the counter. It looks like they need some food. So again, using one of the red cups, I'll go back into the garage. And their pan is the one that says cat on it. So you should say container. I take a full red cup of that food. And I just make sure their bowl is always full because for some reason cats think that if their bowl is a little bit empty, then it's completely empty. Now everybody uses a communal water bowl and it's right here in the den. And this is it, the stainless steel bowl. Looks like it needs to be dumped and refilled. And we'll do that and put it back. And that's the routine. We do that in the morning. Uh, they'll probably be wanting you to do that about five or six or five, six, seven o'clock in the morning. And then we do it again at one. So that's the feeding process.